Well, the prince did give me another task, but he also said it'd be all right if I went and checked in on the uh, the folks over at the the last round. So I think I'll probably do that and explore the city a little bit before I go to the boat. The question is, where do I want to go? That's going to take me back into the building, so I definitely don't want to go there. So I don't know, I guess just pick a pipe and hope it warps me to the correct zone. <laughs> Uh, well, ah, here we go. Let's see where this brings me out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that was not what I expected to have happen. Well, I can talk to you, at least. That other guy, well, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Damn, me! Don't be sneaking up on a brother with your crackhead skin disease test tube baby looking ass! Whoa! Damn near shit my pants! I don't sell no soap, so what the hell you want? Uh... What do you sell? I don't know, man. Take a look. But I ain't got no rock, so I know you ain't interested. Let's see. Oh, so he's got guns, huh? He's got some heavy uh, clothing here, too. Gives me extra armor. I think I'm gonna buy that, actually. The rest of this stuff, interesting, but I bet I can get some of these guns for free from uh, <laughs> previous owners. So uh, I think I'll say no to those for now. Oh shit. Uh, don't mind me, there's gonna be in the corner over here. God damn. All right, I wonder if I can... Uh, change here. I think I actually have to... For some reason, uh... Little controls aren't getting saved. I have no idea why. Much better. Alright, let's see what we got. Um... So it's a lot like my other clothing, only heavier. And it's not going to give me any, uh... Any different look or anything. But, uh, you know what, the extra armor is uh, certainly, certainly welcome. Now, do you have anything else you want to say to me? Say now, brother. Seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? Uh, yo, man, I, I, <laughs> I bought some used clothes from you. <laughs> like you're some kind of fucking street JC Pennies. Uh, but, you know, whatever you say... Uh, well, so what about it? Well, 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 uh, that's your business, okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action, Zar, all right? Uh, I'm listening. Hey, I could use a Halloween-looking S&M gremlin like yourself to help haunt some people out of some loot for me. You still with me? Yeah, you got my attention. Yeah, here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at the nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? Uh, that sound pretty good. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight-out hard-boiled Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Uh, I think I'm ready right now. I'll be back later. I'm sure that they'll have plenty of guns for me when I get there. <laughs> uh, for now, though, I don't know if I can really get out that way. Maybe with an obfuscate. Would be uh, the way to do it. Just uh, to be on the safe side here. Because it looks like these are the kind of guys who might get upset. Kind of like the other guy. <laughs> so, uh... What are you guys doing? What are they doing, I wonder? Yo, you should run, lady. Those guys got knives. They seem kind of dangerous. Ah, well, 
We could go in here if I sneak by like this, maybe. And then maybe you sneak by like this. And then yeah, just oh shit, that's a gunshot. That doesn't seem good. <laughs> Glad I'm getting inside. All right. How you doing? Oh God, get away from me! I saw your whistle. I can't hear you. You gotta speak up. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, see you in your dreams and the shadows. And you're gonna moonwalk away. Okay, fair enough. What about you? <laughs> I knew you'd talk to me. I oh. swear you were all like totally drawn to me. Oh. I'm surprised I don't know you. I usually meet all the LA vampires out on the scene. Oh. Not a lot of you out tonight, which is weird, because I don't know of any parties going on. Mm, you seem insufferable. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, come on. It's totally cool. I'm Patty. Seriously. Everyone knows me. Besides, I just wanted to ask you if you've seen someone. Um... Oh, okay. His name is Kent Allen Ryan. He's a Toreador. Really good looking, dresses really well, like all Prada usually. You don't say. Um, maybe I've heard his name? I don't know. Oh, well he's pretty powerful. He's probably like too far behind the scenes for you to know about him. Maybe you know some of the people who work for him. Um, yeah, probably not, you're right. No, don't go. I really need to find him. Really. Maybe you can ask around. Uh, why would I want to do that? Oh, look. I haven't seen him in days. He said he'd come see me again. He promised. I might age. He promised I wouldn't get thirsty. Now I get it. Uh, well, I really don't know what to tell you, lady. Well, fine. You're just some no-dick fledgling. I've hung out with way more powerful vampires than you'll ever know. I wouldn't drink your gutter blood if you were the last vampire on Earth. Uh, so... <laughs> I won't be getting that Christmas card then. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm honestly a little surprised she didn't run away, but I guess she's probably seen a Nosferatu before, huh? Some fine artwork. Let's see about... No? No dancing allowed here? Oh, no, here we go. You have to go to the designated dancing position. Ah, yes. There's no music. But I'm dancing on the inside and the outside, so it's okay. All right, well, you just be dramatic in the corner there. What, what's your deal? Ugh, corpse fluids playing over at possession. This is confession. No marsh pits in my establishment. Oh, my mistake. Um, bye. Really? No, you... Ugh, corpse fluids playing over at possession. All right, I, I got gotcha. you. Um, because of the, yeah, okay. Yeah, fair enough, whatever. Hmm... Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, I can't get in. All right. Well, I think I've done pretty much everything I can actually do here. So, time to go. Shit, they're still shooting out here? Yo, you guys should get away. I suppose I should too, but I'm uh, honestly kind of curious. And in theory, bullets don't hurt too much. I have no idea where the shots are coming from. That's part of the problem. Empire Hotels. Okay. Jesus. Are you not... You're not even going to do anything? Dude, you're supposed to be the law. Well, or at least, you know, sort of. Oh, shit. Listen, man, that behavior is unacceptable. What? What? He was... 
He was murdering people in the street. I'm sort of certain that I did the right thing. Well, that's some bullshit if I've ever seen it in my entire life. Can I get over the cart? Yes, I can. Whew. Well, I guess I'm going to take the sewer and uh, maybe go... Or try to go, anyway, to the other side of town instead. There might even be a way into that hotel. I kind of figured I shouldn't... Oh, there's a floating rat, my favorite flavor. Um... I figured maybe I shouldn't go into the hotel through the front door. Eh, well, I'm not going that way. Is this a, uh... Not that I've ever been able to properly read these maps for some reason, but, you know. What is... Numero B? It tells me nothing. Access point B. Hmm. I realize this isn't very far away from where I just was. Oh well. Maybe this is the way into the hotel after all. Uh, yeah, seems plausible. Well, that doesn't seem like it's up to code. Ah, le corps le vent. Or something like it. There's definitely some people here. It's a theater of some kind. It's definitely not... Definitely not the, uh... The hotel, at least I don't think. I'll come back here later, maybe. In the meantime... I'm gonna try to run, like... All the way... to the other end. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let me run all the way down here for a while. And I imagine this will take me to where I want to go eventually. One way or another. What do you think? I'll probably go a little farther down this way. Yeah, maybe down this way. Right, I sort of remember this. And then we go maybe down this way. This is probably going to take me in a circle a little bit, but, uh, if we go here... This one seems promising, why not? And up we go. Ah, okay. Well, I'm definitely somewhere. Wait for uh, this bag of bones to get out of my way. I can go in here. What's uh, what's this? Some kind of warehouse. But not really too much going on here at the moment, from what I can tell. Yeah, it seems. Just run down and empty, so... Don't think there's any reason to, to hang about over here for now. Okay. Oh, right, there's a railing. <laughs> ah, and there's the bar. Oh, and there's the bar. Swell. Can I, uh, can I go in here? Nope, can't go in there. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah, let's let's pop in here for a second. Say hello to the the anarch community, as it were. These guys don't seem to mind me too much. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? Uh, let's see. <laughs> um funny is nines around here nines is expecting you have some manners and don't wear out your welcome i'm skeptical. i 
fucked up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I need to see nines. So then go on up and see it. You're free to do as you please here. Well, stop being such a dick. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Jack. Um, we'll talk to Jack maybe later. For now. Oh, there's uh, you as well. Hello. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Oh, you're not gonna give me another speech, are ya? What? Hang on a sec. Shut up! As I was saying, all this, the life we lead, it's a mess. It's older than this city, this country. Who knows how long this shit's gone on. Okay. Uh, well, continue. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. What it works out to is this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Ah, uh, so... I guess... Like real life? <laughs> or, well... Life life instead of undead life? Um... So, like, aren't you part of the Camarilla? I mean, I obviously think that you're not, apparently. Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest load of horseshit a man ever heard. Uh-huh. So... <laughs> you were at the trial. Why were you at the trial? Is the prince the leader of the, the L.A. kindred here? LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Camwat power here, they'll get what's due. Uh-huh, and so what are you all about? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch-free state. An anarch-free state, huh? So that means the Camarilla's new around here? The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Hmm. Have you tried talking to them? I got their meeting right here. Oh. So not a fan of the prince, then? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Huh. Kind of sounds like you might be, uh, Prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Hmm, interesting. Well, um, you got any, like, advice or whatever? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One... You get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't going to save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Yeah, speaking of that, uh... I don't think I really know how to fight. I mean, like, sort of. You know, with, like, ninja swords and stuff, but... Fisticuffs, maybe not so much. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists, and put your weight into your punches. Alright, well... Thanks for the help, I guess. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Hmm, okay. 
I wish maybe you didn't so much. Seems like a lot of people are a little too interested in what I'm up to. But uh, I guess there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Hmm. Secure area. I guess they must... Oh. Well, well, well. They must let humans in here, I guess. Because, uh, I don't know, do vampires have to pee? I don't think I have. <laughs> not yet, anyway. So what's your story? Cam FDM. Oh, interesting. I have one other album somewhere, I think. Sabat chased you in here, Cammy. Uh, what are you talking about? <sighs> Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting as many long enough to get your back, Jack? Um, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean again? I, I could have handled that myself. <laughs> what were you going to break out, huh? Some Tybo? This ain't paintball with your jerk-off friends on the weekend, Cammy. It's the mean streets. Show some goddamn gratitude. Whoa, lady. What the fuck is your problem? Oh, you want to know what my problem is? Uh, All no. right, I'll tell you what my problem is. You ready? You are my goddamn problem. Anyone who would lay it down for some cape in an ivory tower deserves what they get. I'm sorry I asked. A cape, though? Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders? The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention? You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Um, well, I mean, I do like to play for the winning team. Winning? More like festering. What the hell do you know anyway? Just woke up dead and think you already know the score, please. All right, well, why don't you tell me what the score is? Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws, like it or not. Mm-hmm. Yep, I do feel enlightened. I'm Damsel, den mother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since LaCroix ruled in. Uh, you don't say. Uh, <laughs> um, did you, uh, drink some bad blood or something? Oh, don't even joke about bad blood at a time like this. Don't you know we've got a plague bearer around here? Hmm, topical. What's that? A plague bearer's a fool that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can, and kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic, CDC's in town as we speak. Ah, that does seem like a legitimate problem, I guess. So how do you get rid of one? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Hmm. Um. Well, I guess I can do that. I doubt the Camarilla are really gonna be jumping to help you, considering uh, your attitude. But, uh, you know, uh, whatever. I've done, <laughs> done more for people for less. So, uh, you know, I guess it is what it is. All right. One I'm of bored. our boys' ghouls. Name's Paul. Lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'll go check it out. Wait. If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Jesus Christ. That's kind of grim. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, yeah, I'll ask around. Jesus, is that is that you? Is that your stomach? Do vampires get hungry? I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think I'm hungry. Oh yeah, and Jack, what's up, man? Long time no see. Well, look what the street chased in. You seem upset. Um. Yeah, just you know, passing through. Where you headed now? Uh, I don't know. You do what you got to do. You seem upset. Well, look what the street chased in. Uh, what, what did you want to talk to me about before? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, kid. You're not reporting for duty here, so loosen up, okay? We're just chatting. Comprende? Um, yeah, sorry, I didn't read the primer on vampire etiquette. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? 
Uh, yeah, you could say that. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> uh huh. Well, uh, I ran into nines. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> he said you guys let those sabat go too. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? Hmm. Yeah, how come he uh, keeps helping me? Better question, how do you think the Sabbat found me? Someone must have put a word out. Now, here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the Prince got the word out to the Sabbat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? Um, no, I don't think so. Hey, it's just a theory, man, but who else is gonna be watching you so closely, knowing where you're going and all that? Uh, well, apparently Nines, for starters, because why was he there? But, <laughs> then again, he wouldn't have known about the whole where- well, he probably would have known about the warehouse thing. I don't know, why would LaCroix help the Sabat? I'm not saying he's working with the Sabat. I know he ain't. But, he sure as hell could have put the word out there on the street where the Sabat would pick up on it. Uh, just chew on that. Uh-huh. And why, why would I trust you any more than him, out of curiosity? You're free to choose who you trust, kiddo. But has old Jack here ever asked anything of you? Nope. Is your existence a thorn in my side? Nuh-uh. Are you a walking testament to my inability to rule? <laughs> right. I'm just saying, that's all. I think you're doing more than just saying. But, uh, yeah, so it's all politics then, in your opinion? Politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. Uh-huh. And so you don't follow his rules, then? I mean, I, I'm extremely certain that you don't. Ha 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 Ah, kid, I never answered to no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. Hmm, I'm sure there's a story behind that. Uh, why did the prince send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Uh-huh. I actually do kind of believe that. Um, why, uh, did he want to kill me exactly, though? It's bullshit Camarilla law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fascist crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Well, then how come I'm still standing here? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Venture are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. <laughs> uh, is LaCroix afraid of Nines? I thought he was kind of the boss around here. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. Ah, uh, okay. So then, uh, <laughs> you're, you're not part of the Camarilla then? I mean, we all got this from Nines, but let's hear it from Jack. The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. It does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I mean, uh, it kind of does seem like the prince is sort of in charge of things. I mean, you guys are hanging out in a little bar, and he's got, like, a whole tower with uh, a fat security guard. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Well, is it working? Kid, is it? we've lived in California, some of us, for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. So it's not working. Gotcha. Well, I've got a couple other questions, I guess. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Oh, tell me about the Camarilla. Oh, my favorite topic. 
Um, what do you think of their ideals? Don't think that Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? I hear ya. <laughs> so what is it all about, then? The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it, the end. The rest of them are bloody gristle for the machine. And LaCroix, then, is one of the big boys? Ah, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the street, that's for sure. LaCroix has ambitions of joining that inner circle. Delivering Los Angeles in their pocket would look killer on a resume. I imagine it probably would. Um, but, I mean, surely the Camarilla must do good things, too. Not bad. Evil. Man, think if a country had the same dictator that lived for 500 years that's also a blood-drinking predator. Think there's gonna be some evil shit come out of that equation? Uh, yeah, I mean, that seems ex <laughs> extremely likely. So you just so you just not like the leadership, or you just don't like Cammy's period? I'm not saying let's go torch the Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel because she happens to be a Camarilla. I'm saying let's change that shit from the top down. I see. Is there actually a Malkavian living under the abandoned hotel? I don't know. <laughs> Should I go meet him? Uh, so how do you know, like, uh, who's the bad guy? Actually, yeah, what are you thinking about me? Am I part of the problem, big guy? Hey, man, you do what you gotta do to survive when you're young, but there comes a time when that excuse don't fly no more. When you should know better and want to do something about it. I see. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, I wish the facts were a little easier to come by. Being dead is no excuse for walking around with your eyes closed. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. I think maybe the Camarilla does have a point. You know, there's nothing wrong with some basic laws. Ah, beware the protection of wolves. I mean, unless you're a wolf yourself. Hmm. More questions. Moving right along. Oh, uh, well, tell me about the Anarchs. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? Um, well, uh, how long has it been around? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Well, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't hurt a little bit if people knew where they came from. But, uh, yeah, I, actually, no, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy, but some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. I see. So Nines feels the same way, I assume? You bet, kid. And so is he in charge here? Better yet, how come you're not running the show? Me? <laughs> I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. I see. What about the rest of the, the whole Nines crew out here? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them, Nine's crew. Oh. Hmm. Well, here's a personal question. What clan are you? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Yeah, that's definitely not me. More questions. Moving right along. Well, tell me about the Sabbat. Again? Does everything have to be about these dickheads? I hope not. The Sabbat are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Um, I mean, they do seem anti-Camarilla. But uh, aside from that, like, what's wrong with them? The Sabat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. Ah. Well, let's see what else we can, we can learn about from you. Moving right along. What's on your mind? Uh, tell me about the humans. What about them? What do you think of them? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> you know, if one got killed, I bet you didn't cry, but, you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport, either. Yeah, but at the same time, cows are, in theory, not as, like, intelligent as actual humans are. It's kind of a different dynamic, I feel like. Um, well, anyway, thanks. We'll catch you later, Jack. You're you're looking awfully menacing today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go and talk to Skelter here. I think it was. What's up? Um, uh, hey, you get any odd jobs? There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. She's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toriador creep who disappeared. 
Yep, uh, I think I met her. Patty, right? Yeah, Patty. You must know who I'm talking about then. I absolutely do, so uh, what's the problem? She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. Fair enough. Um, uh, what do you want me to do about it? She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Ah. Uh, well, um, yeah, sure I can help you out with that. Alright, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know her sire. Just let me know when it's done. Alright, uh, I got some questions before I go. Yeah? So, tell me about your problem with the Camarilla. The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Um, no, what's that? Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? Uh-huh. I mean, surely we all want to live in a society of law and order, though. Whatever, man. I choose not to submit. I signed away my rights once, and it landed my ass in a Southeast Asian jungle with nothing but an M60 and a shitload of questions. Now I'm dead and the real hell starts. I'll be dust before I roll over and take it again. Uh-huh. So, uh, Anarchs are the way, huh? <laughs> but also, <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is a, what's a van, being a vampire have to do with Vietnam? You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... The curse, huh? That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. And uh, why do you say that? Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will, and it'll make you obey. So, how do you break free from that? That shit stretches all the way back to Cain, man. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Like it or not. Hmm, that sounds like maybe not so fun. Why don't you tell me who Cain is? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, man. Yeah, you don't really believe that though, right? Keep your voice down. Is Cain real? I don't know. Not sure I want to know. Uh, I mean, with all the supernatural shit, maybe that's a fair <laughs> attitude to have. Um, so uh, where are you going with this? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings... You really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? I'm not sure those are the same thing. Um, I'll have to think about it. Maybe I can ask you more questions. Yeah? Uh, what about the, the Kindred situation? You've got to understand, Kindred. Oh, You're no. carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... Uh, yeah, n never mind. That so I wanted to ask you about somebody. Yeah? Who do you want to know about? Why don't you tell me about, uh, Damsel? You mean college girl over there? <laughs> to be honest, she reminds me of those miserable stateside protester fucks from when I was in Nam. But she's on the right side in this war. Don't let the hippie vibe fool you. Alright, fair enough. Yeah? Who do you want to know about? Oh, tell me about Jack. That's the man there. One righteous kindred. I wish he'd take a more active stance in our fight, but fuck man, he's Jack. Jack just does his thing. God help anyone who gets in the way. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind, thanks. Well, uh, I guess we'll see you later, man. Whew. It's a talkative bunch. Got some interesting information and a couple, uh, odd jobs that perhaps I can, uh, take a look into. Not sure if I'll do those before or at- oh, before or after I- Handle the entire Elizabeth Dane situation, however. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. <laughs>